Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today it is a very special day on the channel. That is for a couple of reasons as well. First one is because it's my birthday today. Uh, on the on Sunday the 7th of August, the day I'm recording this video, it is my birthday. I'm 24 today. So as a present from you guys, I'll ask you to subscribe to the channel now with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. Uh, at the time of recording, I'm only 20 20 subscribers away from a thousand subscribers so that would be a great birthday present from you guys if you could smash that subscribe button and get me over the line to a thousand subscribers um, but anyway for the game today why it's so special it is FA Cup day it's the extra preliminary rounds of the FA Cup and I'm gonna go and watch Berry AFC as they play Hallam FC away from home uh, making the journey over to South Yorkshire to go and watch Berry at the oldest football ground in the world as well. Always wanted to go and see Hallam, a very historic stadium. Like I say, oldest stadium in the world, loads of history there. Uh, should be a great day uh, in the sun as well. It's a lovely day for it. So yeah, we'll see you guys when we get down there. Okay, so I'm here at Sandygate Road, the home of Hallam FC. As I said before in the introduction, the oldest football ground in the world. Really exciting to be here, loads of history, as you can see. Uh, so let's show you around and hopefully find someone as well from the club to uh, talk about the history of this incredible football club. Okay, so I'm here with Richard, the chairman of Hallam FC. Do you want to just tell me a bit about the history of this football club, uh, essentially, as, as briefly as you can, really, because I'm sure there's loads to go yeah, through. Yeah, as briefly as I can, basically, cricket started out here in 1804. Out of cricket, so something to do in the winter, they got football going. So it, we were formed here in 1860. If you're not sure about the year 1860, we were playing... Saturday afternoon, kicking downhill with the wind, with 3 nil up at half time. And anyway, it's not been here, it's a little slope to the pitch, as you can see. Uh, over in America, they were swearing, Mr. Lincoln in. So that's 1860. Wow. Good year, bit of history. <laughs> but um, as you can see, what a fantastic part of history it is here. And, and going to the modern day as well, how's the club doing at the moment? I know I've been told you've been uh, you're promoted last season to the ninth tier, so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, promotion last year, first time for nearly 20 years, uh, brings us up to step five uh, of national football, uh, one being the conference. Um, so, you know, we're doing very well. Uh, got good support, we're averaging just under 700 last year, which for our level is, again, is very good. Uh, um, lads are good, they're very good. And today, FA Cup, uh, extra preliminary round, the oldest cup competition in the world as well, goes hand in hand with Hallam, you, you're going to yeah, be expecting well, a result. I've, I've got to tell you something, if you go into our uh, clubhouse, there is the oldest competitive football com competitive cup, the Uden Trophy, precedes the FA Cup. Oh wow. It's the oldest trophy in the, fo in the world, football world, but the FA Cup's part of history. It's, it's, there's still something magical about it, if you're a semi-pro or a pro player, playing in the FA Cup is what, what, what your dream's about. And do you think you can get the result today past Berry? And they're a good side. Berry, Be 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 uh, I think we've had them watched. They're a very good team. But, um, we, you know, uh, we don't fear nobody. Should be up for a really good cracking game of football in front of a good crowd.
Okay, so I'm here with Noah. How are you doing, mate? I'm very good, thank you. How was the journey down? Obviously, it's a fair way mm. from Barry. Yeah, it was hour and 25 minute drive. Uh, when you get out, you don't want to stretch. You just want to <laughs> stay in the car. Um, but it was a good enough drive. We got it successfully. Yeah, and for the game today as well, be excited. It's Barry's Barry AFC's first time in the FA Cup as a new club, obviously, mm. here at Hallam. One of the old, well, the oldest football ground in the world. It's you know brought a lot of fans as well. Exciting mm. day. And normally, I wouldn't think there would be this many very fans that from an hour and a half, 25 minute drive. Um, normally, there wouldn't be this many very fans. This is like normally a big, a very match at home. So I'm very surprised of how many very fans there are. And in terms of the game today, what, what, what do you think in terms of the score? Um, honestly, I think Berry will win. While you've been watching the other team training, they are quite good. But when you look at Berry and how good they were last season, I think Berry's going to get a good score, three 0 Three 0 yeah. These are um, Hallam are in the same equivalent league on the mm. on the opposite side, on the on the eastern side, I think, to uh, to Berry. So it'll be an even match up. Mm. Uh, should be a good game though, yeah. Mm. Okay, so half time here, and it's currently Hallam FC nil, Berry AFC nil, and uh, I, I think it's safe to say that's been the most exciting half without there being a goal mm. possible. I mean, Hallam had the ball in the back of the net twice, once ruled out for offside. The other, I don't know how it got ruled out. It was surely a, a clear goal, and then the uh, the referee gave a free kick for some reason, and then Berry have had chances as well. As well, uh, Noah, what have you thought of it from a Berry perspective? Um. Normally, I would think with various chances that they've had in this match, they should have uh, scored um, quite a lot of goals. But uh, like I said before, I don't now I'm regretting what, regretting what I said about getting three 0 against these. More, I'll be lucky. They'll probably be lucky if they get two now because it's been a very hard game. They have been trying, but the ref. I'm not happy with the ref today. Yeah, the refs gave some questionable decisions, it's fair to say. Mm. Um, it's been a very even match as well. Both teams seem very sort of evenly matched, would you, would you say? Mm. I would say it's quite evenly matched, even though that they're not in the same league. They're, they're in the same league, kind of. But same level, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it is quite level game. Um, I'm surprised no one scored yet because normally in a very match someone would have scored by now. Um, but yeah, I'm quite shocked. And uh, a full-time score? What do you think? Are you going with 2-0? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say 2-0. 
nice one. So yeah, we'll see you guys uh, when the match is finished on the other side at full time. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm back in the car after the game which finished Hallam FC nil, Berry AFC nil. And it's not ideal that to be honest, driving over two hours here and then gonna have to drive two hours back home uh, for a nil-nil draw. But that's football, hey. Sometimes you you know you win some, you lose some, and sometimes you draw some in circumstances like that as well. It was actually a good game though, to be fair. It's not like um, either team was holding back, you know, it was end to end at some point, you know, Berry would be on the attack and then Hallam would uh, win possession and go straight down the other end and get a chance but um, it just played out as a nil-nil draw as you saw um, you know some decent chances some really good chances to be fair but I think it was just a lack of composure from both sides really in and around the penalty area um, two very evenly matched sides as well to be fair um, and it goes to a replay which is going to be I think on Wednesday coming at the Nuven Stadium so I will be there for that. Um, I do also just want to say a huge thank you as well to the people at Hallam. Um, they were very, very welcoming, very, very uh, hospitable. Um, you know, I spoke to the chairman at the start of the video, I had a look at the uh, the old trophies and everything and yeah, they were just really, really um, welcoming with me. So yeah, just a huge thank you to them. Um, but yeah, Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, I know it's obviously not been the greatest of game, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you never miss an upload, especially as well, as I said before, because it is my birthday. It would mean the world if you guys could show some support on this video, even though it's probably not been the best of games. But yeah, thank you once again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be, like I said, the replay at the Nuven Stadium, hopefully on on Wednesday.